bonuses here to make a very easy thing to sort of make. And that is uh, that is pretty much that. We can also we can also do this one, the gear ratio, which will affect the the say the the uh, acceleration versus the top speed here, which is another thing. In general, it looks like the middle portion here is where we want to be, so we'll go with that, and we'll build it, and that'll just effectively do its thing, really. And if we check this in, I believe five months, five or four months, everything will be built. So we'll go like that, we'll go back to the office to, of course, skip forwards in time. Now, this is where, say, an issue came up for me, where these uh, these modules won't actually research. And I found out that this was because of the fact that uh, what I had originally tried to do was that I wanted to turn this auto wage system off, because by default, it will pay workers double the amount, or rather 1.5 the amount, that the average wage is usually at. So it, it's kind of troubling in that it... it does add quite a bit to your expenses but at the same time if you leave auto research or rather auto uh, hire on and auto sort of research off or, or or auto hire on and auto sort of wage on or off what am i saying here uh what it'll do is that it'll try to hire these research employees it'll try to fill up the maximum cap for research employees but at the same time it'll pay them zero so they'll just go off the they'll, they'll go on strike right away and with that said um Obviously, you're not going to get any research then if you do that. So yeah, that was, say, one thing there. And, uh, okay, so one part should be complete. That's right. That's on track. We need to wait three more months. And those uh, items will really be complete. And as you can see, right now, we're still generating a decent amount of income off of our first model car. And I think all the, the R&D components are done now. So we'll go into view, chassis, engine, all that. Yeah, all those things are finished. So now we can design a new vehicle. Right, so we can go to advanced, and this just effectively allows us to pick the, the chassis um, module by ourselves, rather than having the AI pick out, say, what is the, the best option for it here. So we'll go with all the new parts, just sort of like, like that, and I think we'll name this car. I actually don't know what it would be called here. The, the Phaeton... The Phaeton 2? I don't know. Was it, was it the Phaeton 1? We don't know, but we'll build it anyhow. Right, so that'll effectively throw us back into this uh, design menu again. And, well, we can just sort of uh, do the same thing. We can pick a base model of a car to sort of design. But I already have a few pre-built ones from our test game. So, yeah, we can pick out one of these. And I don't believe these, say, factor that much into the actual, rather, the, the modules and all that here. Don't factor, say, all too much into it, aside from giving it the aerodynamic shape. So, we'll do that, and we will just sort of put that down that'll give us the stats over here for this particular vehicle and it'll also give us a manufacturing cost and all of that but the main thing is, but we can also adjust say a few more things here so yeah we'll do that as well so we'll open up the advanced menu here this will give us a whole bunch of uh, again even more sliders to customize how we really want this car to be so we can do the interior we can do uh, what we want to focus testing on and improving upon or rather you know the refining process there and some other things Right, so this car is going to cost uh, nine, 900 bucks to build, so it's almost practically double what, or rather, I think it is actually double what we had originally. So going from there, we want to say, pick out a target demographic from this to uh, for, for this car. We're going to make this a generic sort of neutral type of uh, vehicle. We're going to target the upper middle class because, you know, this is uh, obviously a more of a expensive vehicle. And we're going to give this a slight luxury sort of tinge to it here and there. So um, with that said, we'll go with um, we'll, we'll go with say a bit of a stylish look. We'll go with say we'll just sort of we'll, we'll just sort of um, tech out these sliders as is. And as you can see, as I sort of uh, move them around, various different say ranges on the car will just sort of increase or decrease. The main thing right now is that it looks like we want to say increase um, reliability which is a big focus so i think i'll buff that up right off the bat we'll go like that fuel economy is not exactly something that i want to say focus on so we'll keep that just sort of as minimal and right now we really want to apply our uh, sort of market demographic over here so we'll increase a bit on that now the actual quality on the car will be not say that good as with all luxury cars the actual construction isn't exactly say great on them 
And let's see, there's not, uh, there's actually a slight benefit on, say, having some points in marketing tech or uh, manufacturing techniques, so we'll leave that like that. And um, I think we'll have a slight edge on, on dependability. Cargo focus is a thing, luxury is a focus, style is a focus, safety is, however, not exactly a big priority. So yeah, we'll do that. And we will just really send that to the um, to the building core, and they will build that sort of new design in ten sort of uh, months like that. Right. So the game will just sort of do that thing uh, uh, by itself, and we can just sort of skip forwards until then. And in the meantime, we're actually also raking up, say, quite a big uh, log of how our vehicle sales are doing as well. So that'll also be fairly interesting to check out, say, how the depreciation and the general like. Um, waning of sales is going for us. I mean, evidently it's not doing pretty uh, bad, seeing as we made almost half a million over there in that month. And there we go, so that research will be complete. Right, so let's check these reports and let's check, say, uh, how well we did in selling our, uh, our Mark 1 car. So we'll go by model yearly uh, all charts sales here. And as you can see, uh, actually there was bit of an increase in sales over there so our, our first uh, model car isn't actually doing bad so that's good that's actually really good news but it looks like it will have a new competitor sort of on the field here so we'll go into the main sort of screen over here and we'll begin uh, producing a sort of a trial batch of these uh, 1908 Yoloko Phaeton 2s, which are a Phaeton type of car. Currently, it's, uh, it, it is, let me see how much better it is. Right, so we went from a 4 horsepower engine to a 36 horse horsepower engine and it has uh, it has actually a terrible uh, fuel economy but at the same time it has a uh, its build cost is actually cheaper than listed so that's not bad and let's see its overall rating is 32 going from 32 to 4 so this is by far a very very good overall car where well, no that was that's for dependability overall it's 19 to 3 so in that case that's that's actually uh, pretty good so with that said I'm going to assign three lines here and I'm going to build for quantity now and we'll assign that just sort of for that we'll see how it does here inside the marketplace and we will really go from there so what we can do now is that we can go back to the office, go to um, auto commands, sell everywhere, the uh, fade in two, and we're gonna sell that for a premium price of $2,100 um, per piece. I should have mentioned this earlier to you guys, but because it's so early inside the game, um, the vast majority of people buying cars here, and unfortunately, I don't believe they have a way of displaying this, but the vast majority of people who are buying cars are inside the upper sort of um, bracket of wealth, meaning that they earn more than the per capita average over here and as you can see over time the wage actually increases so now it's right around 500 when it was uh, when the game just begun I think that was right around 350 if not 450 so yeah that's sort of that um, moving forwards from there we'll start to sell that car and at the same time what I'll do here is that we will increase our budgeting on cars and again this is a ratio for all different places so for example the cost uh, the, the actual bump in increase in sort of advertising in London is going to be different than the bump in advertising for um, say Leeds over here with the smaller population am I, am I doing newspapers again? I'm gonna do say decent amount in newspaper control we're gonna do a slight bump in billboards everywhere slight bump in magazines and we're gonna start uh, getting into sporting events by a small amount so yeah that'll do uh, that'll add some say values to our spending on marketing but I think that'll be a good thing to do here and we will begin selling um, some new runs of this uh, new particular vehicle that we are making and it looks like people are looking are uh, liking it currently it's generating us uh, rather we have a total income of right around 600 grand and let's see how many of those things we're moving we're moving say some of the reserves we have on the yolo co uh, mark or model model and eater and currently all the the yolo co phaeton 2s are doing uh, extremely well so that's good and again uh, we just published a new vehicle so we want to check say how well are we filling the demands for here and it looks like yeah the demand for the anteater is filled up but the demand for uh, fade in here is just sort of um, sort of 
rather lacking there, so that's good. I'm going to check our, say, image, and evidently people do not really want uh, to buy our cards, but, but hey, I mean, we're still selling pretty well, so that's sort of that. And our marketing coverage is pretty decent. We have Fantastic in the Newspapers uh, section, which is the one that I value the most at this period of time. Billboards is average, but billboards are also expensive. Magazines are relatively cheaper, in my opinion, um, and we're doing poor in those. So we could improve, improve there, but for, the, for what it's worth, we're still producing, say, a ton of cars and making a ton of money right now, so that's sort of that. Right, so going from there, what I want to do now is that I want to say ease up on production of these uh, Yoloko ad eaters, and I want to switch production of those to these Fade and Twos, seeing as how th they are uh, obviously the better sort of model of car. And because they're newer, they'll stay in the market longer, and they'll have a bigger market share just sort of uh, right off the bat. So right, we'll continue off of that. We will end the turn, see how much profit we gain. Only 400 grand that time, so it looks like we built a small, say, reserve over here, but that's not, say, too big a mission. We'll probably sell them off later on. And let's just check our expenses over here. So in total, our our total expenditures, expenditures is 600 grand, so that's every single month. Materials is making up the bulk of those. Actually, well, factory tasks in total are making up the bulk amounts of that. Marketing is actually pretty cheap for us right now. It's only right around seven grand or eight grand. So what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna market, say, more heavily in magazines because we haven't been, say, doing too much of that. So we'll apply that to all. Go to sporting again, we'll increase the sporting amount, and we'll go to events, and we'll actually bump that up slightly, so like that. And that'll, of course, help us out here in all vehicles and brands, so that'll be pretty nice to have around. So, uh, hopefully that'll speed things up by a bit. And in the meantime, we can, of course, expand our business to get in more viewers, but this is uh, something that I want to check. I want to check the, um, the vehicle reviews over here. So let's see. Now, I'm not, say, particularly sure about this, but I believe the vehicle reviews update every year, even though the model doesn't change, and it'll change the rating of the uh, the thing here as well. So I believe the model ad either at the start was, say, a below average car, and now it says it's not worth the money. Um, taking a look at the Fade In 2, it looks like people, oh wow, they actually, dis they don't really like this guy. Uh, Car. They, they say avoid it at all costs, so oh well that's uh, sort of that, but evidently I mean it's selling quite well, so we will continue. I mean it's a budget car so I assume say the lower perhaps bracket of people in the upper middle class are buying it or something like that? I mean we just made close to a million on that month on it, so eh, I don't know, maybe the reviews are, are sort of like that. Right, so yeah definitely more and more sales are sort of being driven over here. And things are really going forwards like that, and of course we can upgrade of cars and uh, do things like that as time goes on. And another thing is that the, uh, the world map here, as you can see, will change over time as the game sort of goes forwards. And I think it's time to say expand into uh, some of the other places. So let's expand into what would be essentially Ireland here with two deal with uh, two branches here. So built a uh, yeah two branches over here that have 16 employees each. So that'll open up say a new market sort of region for us. And of course we just have to uh, say go back in here and apply the model uh, rather the auto commands again I believe. So yeah sell everywhere choose car fade into, and we'll sell this slightly cheaper now to attract some new people like that. We'll sell of course the ant eater as well because we still have a large reserve of that and we're still making it. And I think 1150 is a decent price keeping up with say the times here. And that'll really just do that. It'll just sort of passively sell things as time goes on. And more models of cars and things will just sort of uh, be released as time goes on. We can improve, um, rather we can increase the amount of those that we get as well by going to the research R&D department and assigning uh, research teams funding for uh, development of like new modules and stuff like that, or new techniques, and to extent new forms of um, putting things there. So uh, that is pretty much that for say this episode. I think that'll be that. And uh, well, it looks like we have 7.8 million in the bank, and I think this will be a nice sort of uh, place to continue off for next time. So I think I'll save this as LP2 just to just to be sure about the save files here, and we'll uh, really continue just sort of. Um, off here, I guess, next time. So, bye-bye for now.